seriously ill. He occupied the same hospital room. One man was allowed to sit up in his bed for an hour each afternoon to help drain the fluid from his lungs. His bed was next to the room's only window, and the other man had to spend all his time flat on his back. So the men talked for hours on end, and they spoke of their wives and families and their homes and their jobs, where they had been on vacation. And every afternoon, when the men sat in conversation, the man in the bed by the window, he could sit up, and he would pass the time by describing to his roommate all the things he could see on the outside. The man in the other bed, he began to live for those one-hour moments during the day, where his world would be broadened and enlivened by all the activity and color of the world outside. The window overlooked a park, a park with a lovely lake, ducks and swans. Dear friends, young lovers walked arm in arm amidst flowers of every color of the rainbow. Grand old trees graced the landscape and a fine view of the city skyline could be seen in the distance. As the man by the window described all this in exquisite detail, the man on the other side of the room would close his eyes and imagine the picturesque scheme. One afternoon, the man by the window, he described so many things passing by, and as he described it in so much detailed words, the other man continued enjoying lying on his bed without being able to see. He enjoyed it. Days and weeks passed. And one morning, the day nurse arrived to bring water for their baths, only to find the lifeless body of the man by the window, who had died peacefully in his sleep. And she was saddened and called the hospital attendants to take the body away. And as soon as it seemed appropriate, the other man asked, if he could be moved next to the window. And the nurse was happy to make the switch. And after making sure he was comfortable, she left him alone. And slowly and painfully, he propped himself up on one elbow to take his first look at the world outside that he was told about. And finally, he would have the joy of seeing it for himself. He strained to slowly turn to look out the window beside the bed. But it faced a blank wall. The man asked the nurse what could have compelled this deceased roommate of his who had described such wonderful things on the outside of the window. And the nurse responded that that man, he was blind. He could not even see the wall. She said perhaps he just wanted to encourage you. Dear friends, there is tremendous happiness in making others happy. Despite our own situations, whatever they may be, shared grief is half the sorrow. But happiness, when shared, is doubled. So if you want to feel rich, just count all the things that you have that money cannot buy.